What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. Y'all see that grill right there? It just about burnt down hunting camp. We're out in the woods. We're back home in South Florida. We're at our personal hunting lease. All I wanted to do today was hang some stands, fill the feeders, and cook some chicken on this grill. Well, I don't know what happened, but the fan kicked on high and it was blowing so much air. This grill got to 500 degrees like that. And I opened the lid and flames went everywhere. And now it's char grilled. So no cooking chicken today. Jake's fixing to go to his stand on his own on his four wheeler. He's got his 204 and he's starting to hunt on his own. He's 13. When I was 13, my dad made me go sit in my stand on my own. So that's what he's doing. He's gonna walk about probably 200 yards from where you're gonna park the four wheeler, right? Yeah. You're gonna park it right at the corner Hang a left and walk straight to the stand. And text me when you get there so I can see you're actually in the right. tree. And you gotta text me when you get down so I know you actually sat till dark. Okay. Luke, what was that thing today you, you keep talking about? A what? What was that like bird-like creature or whatever it was? Khaki cocky. What is that? It's, Let me some, it's some kind of scary bird. Let me see what's in your hand. Flatten it out so we can see. Cicada. He's fresh too. So we got Travis T-Bone Turner here with his little, I don't, I don't, you guys, I don't know what's exactly what you call this up in here. There's probably some certain forms of life that's in his hair. It's, in a, mop, it's a mop sock. A mop sock. We got, you're hijacking the pellet gun? Yep. With your dark Vader glasses? So I've been hog hunting with my bow, but then uh, Gabe, shot and knocked out some hogs with this pellet gun so i want to try to use a pellet gun you're hijacking the pellet gun hijacking the pellet gun. is that okay yeah we're in a hurry this is my daughter leah i know i was thinking about your name uh, i know leah's name i was i was thinking about what i was going to call you this is travis's daughter leah <laughs> and that's my son luke i didn't introduce him yet you ready luke yes come on let's go we're gonna try to get her her first hog good luck possible. what are me and you gonna do luke go catch fish crawfish and whatever else we catch in the trap if we catch some crawfish can we cook them probably yeah if they're big enough all right so this is my side by side we got some corn in there because we're gonna go put some in the middle feeder what you hunting jake my flip -flops. your hunting boots my hunting boots so if you do follow along and if you've watched my last video or if you haven't watched my last video what'd you do beach killed a big old buck deer in velvet in south velvet. carolina August, what was it? August 24th? August 23rd. 23rd. That's all on YouTube and my first hog with a pellet gun. Watch my last video. If you haven't seen it, go check it out and come back to this one. So we're going to haul boogie. We got a long ride. We're going to drop Crystal off. Jake's going to his stand. Travis is going to go to his stand. We're going to drop Crystal off and then me and Luke are going to go fill a feeder. And then we got a new dip net. We're going to go out into some of these ponds and see what we can catch. It's a win-win for everybody. Everybody gets to do something fun today. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where, where is the, where's my rifle? It's right here. Oh, the safety. So I'm going to tell you guys a little fun fact. Jake, go get my 25 Super Short out of the truck, please. I'm going to tell y'all a little story about this rifle right here. It's a fix made by, I don't even know who it is. Who makes this gun? Q Fix. So Jake has my 25 Super Short. That's a Browning A-Bolt. It's over 20 years old. I've never cleaned it. I've never done a thing to it. It never misses. It kills pretty much everything you shoot. But most importantly, it always fires. The safety always comes off. This piece of crap is three months old, $3,500 and already doesn't work. The safety's jacked up. The gun doesn't group worth the crap. So never fall for the gimmicks of buying something that looks cool. Because to me, that thing right there is garbage. I'll gladly pick up my rifle that's over 20 years old, $800 total, and have something to kill. I'm leaving that junk right here. I've had that 204. I shot my first deer with it. Does it like, ever mess up? Mm, I had it for, I was eight when I shot my first hog with it. And it's been years since I've shot it. Cause I well, wasn't Jake, able hold to up, find hold it. Hold up, hold up, hold up, Jake. You ain't but 13. Years, that's eight, <laughs> nine, 10, 12. It's been years, babe. I've had it for five years. That is a long time. And I haven't had to sight it in for five years. And it still shoots dead on and it kills stuff. All right, well, good luck. Go shoot something. All right. Text me. Yeah, I need to grab Everybody got everything? Thermos out here. It's in the back seat of my hunting bag. Can I follow you by four wheeler? No, because we got to go through deep water. 
Text me when you get to your stand. Y'all want to see the world's most expensive automatic gate opener? I thought it was cheap. You guys, this thing came with like a 20 year payment plan. What do you think? Will the batteries eventually run out? Not if we give them a bunch of sugar. That's a fact. That's what he runs on. So this morning when we went for a ride, we pulled about right here. Look how beautiful the buck is that was standing right there. That's what you call one of the prettiest two and a half year old bucks you'll ever see. Come on, gate opener. You only got two more to get. You're good. Look at all the turkeys, babe. All those gobblers. I think my automatic gate opener's Moving a little slow today. Maybe it's the batteries. I might need to return this one to Walmart. There's probably 15 long beards, gobblers right there, Osceola turkeys. We might actually get a little bit closer because that's the way we're going. There's one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen long beards, right there in one flock, all Osceolas. Oh my gosh! If it was turkey, look at those heads. If it was turkey season, we could get like four in one shot. You got that right trying to go around them to push them back so they can just go over there and relax. Dad, I forgot to tell you. The other day, whenever I was taking Leo on the on a ride, I saw the biggest strutting bird I have ever seen. A strutting bird? Yeah. For it real? was a big gobbler. It was strutting. It looked like a dang cannonball whenever it was strutting. Huh. It was a real big one. Well, how about you stretch yourself up to this gate right here and get it? <laughs> I actually got to help him with this one. This one's a hard one. This spot right here, when we got on this lease in May, was the most beautiful place you could ever imagine. There wasn't any water and it was real white sugar sand. The turkeys were all over the place. You want to come back here and put one? Wait, we have a. We can set it real quick. I have the bread in the trap. No, we got to get her to her stand before the hogs come out. We can catch something out here. Yes. Get, well, your, fish right there. get your dip net. Let's see what we can get. Gotta take my boots off. This pond, I've been wanting to come out here and frog in it. Every time I drive by, like right before dark, the frogs are croaking. Watch out for that gator. You know that mama gator lives in this pond. Come out here and let's get out in the deeper water. Uh oh. What was that? There were a bullfrog right there. Nice and hard. Oh, I got a 
a crawfish. Look Come on. That. Look at that. Little crawfish. I don't think he's big enough to eat though. Nice catch. Let's look for here. More. Oh. Ow. <laughs> I just saw some kind of blue. Here, I'll hold the net. You dig through it. I just saw some kind of bluegill. You might as well turn him loose. He's little. Let's go down there where the mama gator is and her babies and see if we can see her. You can see right here where this mama gator has been coming in and out of this shallow area. If you watched our collecting gator eggs video, they make that same kind of trail to their nest too. And she probably had a nest right out there somewhere. But we've seen her babies here a bunch. I'm trying to find one now, but I haven't seen one. They're always right here in this little stretch. To think about this slough right here and these cypress and these oak hammocks, this is what most of Florida used to look like before it got built up with the, I don't know, 22 million people that live here now. This is old Florida. Oh, wow, Florida. What is that? That's oh, that's a really cool one. We used to catch these when we were young. Oh, I just dropped him. You gotta catch him again. I don't know what it is. I don't know what kind it is, but I used to catch him when we it were young. It looks like some kind of molly. Yeah, it does look like a molly. That was Yesterday, I drove through this little spot and there was little baby gators everywhere. And now today there's none. Go figure. I was doing when I, when I caught him. I'm just you were just saying in? Oh, what was it? Oh, oh there's I a baby gator, gator right there. I told you they were all over here yesterday. Where is he? You ain't scared reaching your hand in there? That definitely means mama's not far away. Oh, yep, there he went. All right, leave him alone. Try to catch you another Molly. I'm just going to walk and keep my neck in. Sort of agitated as you're pulling it. That was a cool little gator. I need to go get the side by side. I saw that thing like splashing in there. I was like, oh my gosh, I got something big. It's right there. Come on. Let's go put corn in the mineral feeder and then we'll come back. Okay. We'll actually go to a different spot. You get anything? Oh, I got a big old crawfish. Oh, yes. What luck is that? Let me see in here. Let me oh, there see. he is. See him? Did you just catch the same one? No. That's a bigger one. Let me see. Ow, oh, he just bit me. That's All a right. nice size one. Let's go put corn in the mineral feeder before it gets dark, and we'll come back. Okay. So we just pulled up to a gate, and Luke's out getting it, and I just pulled up my trail camera that is that the stand that Jake's sitting at? Look at this. It's not deer season yet, but look at this buck that's right there. There is a giant buck at his stand. Look at him, Luke. Oh my gosh. He's dark horned. Let's see if we got a better, oh yeah, there he is. Poor Jake's having to stare at that buck right now in those does. He's just to the left about 80 yards. There's a good picture of him. That's, that's what Jake's happened to stare at. That's a big one, a big old big one. Yesterday evening, Jake actually sat in that stand with Travis and they killed a pretty good sized boar hog, but it was just so late. I mean, it's right at dark when he shot it. All we really got was a little bit of the recovery and we took the hog home and cleaned him. So today he's sitting there hoping one might come out a little bit earlier. Fingers crossed they all get a hog because that's what we're on this lease for. To be honest with you, I didn't get on this place for the deer. I got on it for the hogs and there's just not been very many here since May, since we got out here, but they're starting to slowly come in. So hopefully everybody gets a hog. You ready? Mm -hmm. Did you close the gate right? Mm -hmm. Yep. I cut myself right there somehow. Son, you're always cutting yourself. How you do that? All these cows staring at us like we're aliens.
So if you follow along, not too long ago, I did a video where we put this feeder in here. We actually built a little barbed wire fence around it so the cows can't get in. And they've got almost all the feed aid out of it. I need to check and see. Shake it and see if there's any corn in there. Shake the, shake the feeder. Oh yeah, it's about full. We might not need to do anything then. Let me go over here and look real quick. Oh yeah. I'm gonna add two bags of corn. Just finished putting two bags in there and now I move my camera back to where I originally had it. That's a good size buck truck. Oh yeah, there's bucks all in here. This feeder went off about 45 minutes ago and in between then and now, all the corn's gone. That's some kind of hog truck right there also. Right there. You hear that? Listen. What is that noise? So now let's check back in with Crystal, Jake, and Travis and see what they're seeing. Well, I don't know if Jake has a camera. He has a cell phone. I know he's looking at some big bucks, so he might not even have his phone in his hand. Let's just see what one of the three of them are doing right now. So, um, got in the tree stand, and an interesting thing that happened to me on the way up here is, for whatever reason, not sure why, there were tree frogs all over this tree stand. Um, I got up here, one jumped on my hand, and one jumped in my hair, little slimy lime green tree frogs. Um, I don't know why they were up here. That was kind of weird. They were, this place is covered in them. But I am sitting in this beautiful oak tree here. I want to show you all this gorgeous oak tree in front of me. There's the feeder. You can see these gorgeous air plants. I love, love, love air plants. And I tell you what, we're blessed to live in such a beautiful, beautiful place like Florida. The, the plants... Um, the vegetation, the wildlife, it's all incredible here. And I'm lucky to, to live in a place like this. So, hoping we see a hog here shortly. Got in the stand a little bit late. Um, so, wish me luck. Look, there's a cow standing in there. You gotta get your dip net. Now we have to be really careful. I'm not joking around. We have to be careful for alligators in a spot like this. Go get your net and let's see. Look at number 153. She's got a tag in her ear. A spot like this when the rest of the ranch is starting to dry up and all the ponds are starting to get low, a big gator will get in here, dig him a big cavern and stay here and it can eat one of these calves like that one right there and it lasts at six eight months so you always got to be careful in florida like in a pond like this like yeah don't dig too deep down because it's real muddy come here and just skim the surface with that I net <laughs> you can just stick the net like this come through real quick just like pond birds do it, it is a pad to look at all the mosquito minnows here do what i just did Take you, look, keep it like this and walk around with it. Stick it about six inches under the water. Let me see what these fish are. They're mosquito minnows. Luke, the cows are surrounding us. They probably want to see what we're catching. Uh, that probably is true. Now tonight when it gets dark, after we pick Crystal up, she's that away about a half mile. All the way back around near camp, there's a culvert crossing. We're going to put two crawfish traps right there. Oh yeah, that's the spot where we saw the fish at. Yeah, there's a bunch of baby catfish. There's all kinds of cool stuff. Yeah. Look at the hooping cranes. I'm in the net around in this grass real quick. I could probably catch a crawfish a grass shrimp. Oh, there's real deep mud right here. I think this pond's too muddy. We need to go find one of those sandy creek bottoms. This water's like as black as oil. So we're on our way to another water hole and I want to show you guys something that I saw another one just like this up in the front of the property. You can tell they're crazy old and I have no idea what they are. Look at this. I, For the life of me, I can't figure out what this is. 
you can see how old it is. I mean, the wood's almost rotted. This metal's been here forever. The weird thing is, is it's got wire on it, like it's some kind of trap. But then there's like a sliding door there. It's got a roof on it. I can't for the absolute life of me understand or figure out what this is. What do you think it is, Luke? Turkey just flew off. It kind of looks like some kind of like tree for a trap. It was definitely for some kind of animal. I mean, I hope to God it wasn't for a human because it's some kind of a cage, but there's no house around here. There's nothing. It's in the middle of just beautiful oak hammock. I don't have any way to get up there and open the top, nor do I want to open the top because there's probably a wasp nest or something in there. It's probably for like a buzzard to catch a buzzard. I don't know what this is. You can tell there's a coon nest in there or something. I don't even want to stick my head in there. This baffles me. So the roof has a hinge. Obviously it opens because you can see that there's a latch right there. I don't know what this is. Leave a comment below if you think you know what it is. I've never seen anything like it in my life and I've been in these woods around this area of South Florida my whole life. I've never even seen a picture of anything like that. I don't know why it's elevated. I don't know why it has that slanted piece of wood in there or this wire gate. I mean, I would think it's some kind of like spring set trap, but I don't know what they would be trapping. So it's gotta odd. Be for, like some kind of bird because I don't think an animal yeah. can get up there. So you can clearly see that that wood in there is meant to be slanted because it has that board right there like an A-frame. But what would this be for? I could probably get out of your shoulders and go up there. No, I don't want you up there because it's all rotted and rusty. You guys leave a comment below and give us your best guess of what that is. So before we go, I want to give you an idea. That's all open pasture. This is one big, long, continuous oak hammock. And that contraption's just right in there off this road. But it could have been here before this road was here. I know the cowboys probably cut it so they could get to the other side for their cows. This thing is out in the middle of nowhere. I don't think I've ever wanted to know what something is more than I want to know what the heck that is. Just wait till y'all see how pretty it is right out here when we pop out into the open. Cows love this section because they can get in the shade. They like the sand. Look how pretty this is right out here though. Catch some crawfish right here in this ditch? Yep. All right, let's see. You guys see that tallest tree right out there in the middle of this huge slough? If you watch my collecting alligator eggs video, the alligator that bit the bow of the airboat was under that tree right there. All right, grab your net. I think that's deep enough for me. You might catch something in here. Oh, this We were in. Shiner Sam's in Lakeland up near Camp Mac River Resort and that's where I bought that net. It's a really cool Really heavy duty net life Fisher sports Did you just hear that bullfrog Luke? Yep. I did I'm excited to go frogging tonight. If you had an airboat you could probably gig a hundred pounds of clean legs. What'd you catch? Mosquito fish. Yeah, you could probably gig a hundred pounds of clean frog legs in this slough right here. The moon's straight overhead. It's a bluegill. Yeah. Oh no. So Crystal, if you look down there, I know this is a GoPro and you can't really see good. Down there at the far end of this pond, she's about a hundred yards inside the woods. I got a water beetle. What's a water beetle? These little guys right here. These guys will grow big and eat minnows. Oh yeah, look what I caught though. I don't want him to poke me. Ooh. A baby pleco. This is actually not a pleco, it's an armored catfish. That would be perfect Can I hold them? for your fish tank. Ah. He got away, good. I could have put him. There's a hen turkey right in there clucking at us. She must be up in her roost. Okay, see what I got. What's that? That's a massive tadpole. Holy moly, don't hold him over the net so if he falls, we don't lose him like we've lost everything else. That's a 
big bullfrog tadpole. That's a golly whopper there. Is that all you got? Let's check it. Oh, there's another one. Look, he's got legs already. We need to come out here in oh, a couple we'll days right and here. bring your bubbler and we'll raise some of these bullfrogs. Let me see yours. Ben. Look at that. That's huge for a bullfrog tadpole. No Sam's They're eating you up? Here. All right, we're going to turn these loose. Let's see what else is in there. Oh, that's it. All right, so we picked Crystal up. What'd you see, babe? Not a thing. Dang. <laughs> we got to find some hogs. We might have to go buy hogs and bring them out here. Don't even say that. I hope not. All I'm right, not so right behind Luke is a ditch with a culvert pipe, and there's all kinds of cool, like, little kinds of catfish and all sorts of fish. We're going to put a trap out on this side and one over here, but you I can't see that one. Net right there real quick. Nope, we're not going to net because we don't want to disturb it. Here, Crystal's got the bait. Come put some in your trap. So he's already put a piece of bread in his trap, but what do you have in that bag? Um, this is a piece of queen snapper, piece of bagel, a piece of bacon. I stole this out of the hog slop bucket. This is all we had. If y'all don't know what the hog <laughs> slop bucket is, we have some hogs at the camp that we, every time we're here for two or three days, we save all the scraps and then we feed the hogs when we're leaving. How about put this big piece of fish in there? Here, look, put the fish in there. Look, this spot. Oh, there we go. All right. I call dibs on this side. All right. I'll give it to you. Can you say that again in English? I call dibs on this side. All right, throw it in. Right out. Here, wait, wait, wait. Remember, we can't. Oh, bullfrog. Yeah, I, I saw. stepped on a bullfrog. We can't throw it out there too deep because if there's any kind of eels in here, they'll die. So we got to make sure a little bit of the trap's out of the water. Hey, that bullfrog, I stepped on you. Chuck it. <laughs> hey, good looking. What you got cooking? You guys, when life throws you lemons, <laughs> just make lemonade out of it, folks. So I wanted to smoke. Crystal said she wanted smoked chicken. I wanted to smoke the chicken, but the smoker decided to turn into like a flaming torch from hell. We actually were so scared, like you saw in the beginning, we put it out in the front yard. So I took these chicken thighs. See how thin they are now? I cut the bone out, and I'm just gonna pan fry them. My mom grew up cooking thighs just like this, so that's what I'm gonna do. I got some potatoes in the oven. We're just gonna make the best of it. What can you do? Call these chicken it, cutlets. It could be worse though. Luke really wanted to kick to uh, cook the two crawfish that we caught. <laughs> we weren't gonna go hungry. Right, you just I heard had me say that. Up. Listen. <laughs> what is it, Luke? You wanted to cook the crawfish. What are y'all doing out here? I'm full. You shouldn't be eating snacks before we have dinner. I'm who's, hungry. <laughs> who's winning? Me. What? Did you um, scratch? No. You just I, got one in? Yeah. We're, we're tied now. Oh, gotcha. Luke's actually a pool shark. Surprisingly. I'm tell you about this cabin. So this cabin is our dream. It's the nicest cabin in the world, but the lighting is terrible, folks. We're, we're really not sure how to get the lighting better because it's run off a generator, a propane generator, and right now we have 12 window units running. That's a lot of power. If you don't know what a window unit is, it's the AC units right here in the wall. Surely you know what an AC unit is. There's 12 of them, because this is five bedrooms, sleeps like 25. I gotta figure out the lighting, how to get brighter light. We don't even, it has a ton of lights, but they're like dull and yellow. Maybe just change them to LEDs. Well, LEDs, when we were filming in Jamaica, uh, LED flickers. bulb flickers. It flickers. looks like you're having a stroke. Yeah, it's coming. Show us your stroke. Show us your disco. Oh, get it, get it. Yours was better than mine. <laughs> well, you know, got the wiggle and the jiggle right there. That's because you smell the the my jiggle. cooking. Oh, yeah. Jake, I'm very proud of my son, Jake. I can't even see him right now, hardly. He's in camo. <laughs> Come in the, the camo. kitchen, Jake. Let's talk about it. So Ooh, I can smell. It smells oh, yeah. good. It's it does smell good in here. So I can remember when I was Jake's age, I was literally, I think I was 13. My dad took us to Corbett area, which we get a lot of people saying, why don't you hunt public land? You guys have to realize that until I was 30, I didn't hunt anything but JW Corbett. And this week, Crystal and I are gonna hunt it again, and you, because you can now hunt with a crossbow. All right. 
But my dad took me when I was about 13 and he put me out in the woods and said, go hunt, son. He gave me the kick in the butt and you did good tonight. Yep. The only difference is don't leave until I come back. The only difference is I didn't get to see 120 inch Florida whitetails. He, have you seen the buck you saw? You saw? Oh, you didn't say nothing about a buck. You said about a pig. I saw a pretty nice. Buck. He didn't even mention. He didn't even mention. He didn't even mention. mention. A huge see, buck. Hey, you know that's where he, you know he's been trained well. He didn't say nothing. He's like, oh, just see what you see tonight, Jake. I just see some oh, you know, he he crossed that. the road, went around here, came almost to the feet. What? 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 Show me the picture. Hey, when I we finally videos. oh, show them to me. Huh? Let's listen, get this reaction on. Oh no, listen. When we finally, my dad got us on a lease in Georgia, and we had member to VHF radios. Oh yeah. Beep, beep. What did you see? I said, I seen a buck. Don't tell. No buck. You hear me? Don't tell. Word. <laughs> Broadcast. <laughs> Whoever was listening that heard it all. Yes, I've never, I've never hunted a place where it's the like audience has already seen the buck that he saw, and you did. It's a big one, a big old big, big one. Dang, Jake, you're already digging in. So I'm going to give you all a little tech tip. If you ever get bone-in thighs, they're actually cheaper than boneless thighs. Cut the bone out and leave a little bit of meat on it. Throw them in there and cook them too. They taste so good. Potatoes are done. Last little bit of chicken's done. Well, we'll be done soon. We're about to dig in. Jake was starving. He ain't waiting. All right, y'all, come fix your plates. All right. How was your first hunt, Leah? It was good. I've been itching for something to walk out that I could actually shoot, but it was still nice to be out there and just hear everything without all the sound pollution. That's one thing I was telling her is like, all weekend, no sirens, none. This is one of the few places in Florida where you can sit, you don't hear fire engines, you don't no. hear trains, you don't hear, you don't hear nothing. You don't hear traffic, nothing. But you hear Luke farting every now and then. Or Jake. Or Joe, Jake never owns it. No. So it's always no. Luke. He's in there grinning from ear to ear. Come eat. He cut himself, there was sawgrass in that pond and he walked through and it went right down between his toes. I hate sawgrass. Ooh. You, you what? I'll show you where I got cut at. Do we need to go to the hospital? No. Can we cut it off and make it feel better? It cut my wart in half. Uh, his wart. His wart. He got Gordy's, boys. What are you making, babe? Baked beans. Oh, yeah, that's what we're missing. Baked beans, taters, and chicken. All right, folks, we're about to eat. We'll see y'all in the morning pulling crawfish traps, and I'm going to show you one of our new tree stand setups. I got to go there and put a camera up, and I'm going to build a pin around it, and I'm going to show y'all why and how I do it. You ready to go check some crawfish traps? Yes. You think we have something in them? Yes. Check out those glasses though, y'all. He found them underneath a real thick bushy tree on a pond we were fishing at. He went crawling under. I thought he was coming out with a snake because he was screaming, look what I got, and he had them glasses. These two aren't quite up yet. We got up early this morning, nine o'clock. <laughs> look at that, look at that. She's not into it yet. You ready? I'm ready. He's got his 204, we got the pellet gun. We're going to check crawfish traps and raccoon traps. Take a left. You got a roadblock up ahead. Come on girls, we hate to wake you. Your early morning nap. Probably so comfortable. Babe. I knew that was going to happen. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Did you see that big buck over there? Which side was he on? He was on like the first pasture for like this way. No, we didn't see him. We saw some back in the horizon, but I had a feeling that the coons were going to do this last night. That was a big... The bad thing is I've had a coon trap here and there for months and haven't caught but two out of this trap. They waited out there and pulled the trap out of the water. We got some fish though. They didn't get yours though. Go pull your trap and see what's in it.
Babe, you got robbed by the coons. They get the bait? Yeah. Can they get the yeah. bait? They get the bait, the crawfish, or maybe. Yeah, I feel good about this spot. Is there a salamander? Oh, it's heavy. It's heavy. I didn't get any crazy reaction that I was expecting. What'd you get, just some minnows? Not nearly what I thought we were gonna get, that's for sure. Just a couple little minnows. Dad, can I net right here? Yeah, but we gotta go check some traps. We'll do it on the way back. Got him. Oh, that sounded like a direct hit. Obviously, we can't show you guys what we're doing She's shooting a coon. Oh, he's done. That was that sounded painful. Look, this is why you gotta be careful. That's a bad poisonous snake right there. See these colors? Yeah. You guys check this out. That's a poisonous one? That's a cotton mouth, but he's a real light color. Wow. Normally they're black. Could be because where he's at. Oh, that's not good. I saw you jump out of your shoes. Yeah, we always walk around barefooted out here. That little dude would make you regret it for sure. Gross. That's what I'm saying. I've never seen one that Was he light. cooled up when you walked up on him? When you walk up on a cottonmouth, 90% of the time, you see that flash of white. That's why they call him a cottonmouth. And that's all I saw was a flash of white, just like the big one we saw in South Carolina. So if you're not looking down, you'll just step right on him. And you will be bit. But we're a long ways from any water. You'd have to get trauma honked out here to that get to a hospital. One bad thing about the ranch that we lease is it's so far in the middle of nowhere. If you got really hurt, you're going to have to call a trauma hawk because it's it's a 30 minute fast ride. Like if you're driving fast, it's 30 minutes out to the paved road. And then you're still another 45 minutes to a hospital. I don't normally kill them if they're out away from, you know, where we're always walking, but this is a tree stand that we hunt all the time. I took him out. I took him out, Luke. Your kids look like ninjas right now. <laughs> Luke, look at me, Luke. <laughs> So by now I'm sure you're wondering what we do with the raccoons when we kill them. Well, we kill them because there's such an overabundance of them out here. They get into the turkey nest, the quail nest. This particular ranch has been feeding substance feed for a long time. Corn, all kinds of stuff for the animals, and nobody's ever done anything about the coons. Every tree stand we have with a feeder, there's probably six to eight to ten raccoons. Everywhere you go on the roads you see raccoons. We're not killing them all. We're just putting a small dent on them. Right here we have this big canal that goes all the way to our camp. I'm sure you've seen it if you follow along in other videos. And it's slap full of alligators. We're not eating these coons, but these alligators will. I'm sure there's some unexpected alligator somewhere this morning that's gonna find that coon and be like, I'm well, really happy. well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Raccoon for breakfast. And he didn't even have to sit there and stalk for like eight you know days to get them. I'm just thankful about huh. that you're not making us eat these raccoons. I'm not about eating a raccoon. But my mom did say that this year when it cools down, because you wouldn't want to eat them while it's hot right now anyways, but when it cools down, she's going to cook. She's going to make the boys go get a coon and she's going to cook it for them. All right. Because she said that's what she grew up doing when she was a little girl. Luke, you ready to rip? I can tell by... Beachy smile right now, she's hungry, so we gotta go get her some breakfast. We don't have much for breakfast besides leftover chicken. We have bacon, French toast, bagels, eggs. Pancakes. Pancakes. I guess I was wrong. Yeah. All right, folks, that was just a quick, fun video of what we do out here. We gotta head back to camp. It's Sunday, the boys got school tomorrow. We're gonna cook breakfast, clean, gotta mow a little bit. We gotta vacuum and clean the inside of the cabin like typical cabins when you gotta leave. That's it, though. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. But like Jake always says, we're getting the heck out of shape.